Okay, YouTube, welcome back to part two of my Sony PVM pickup. If you've not seen part one, then go and watch it. It's only three minutes long. And uh, you, you nearly see me drop it off the uh, the wooden loft ladder, so it's, it's always worth a laugh. But now it's finally upstairs. I've built this little uh, platform thingamajig out of a bit of wood. It cost me about six quid in total. Some screws and that, and uh, some wood from B&Q. I've never been uh, very good at carpentry joinery but um, I've done my best and it looks all right the, the front comes down it's on two little magnetic catches it's got a bit of storage under there and uh, yeah it, it fits the uh, the hole nicely before before this were here I had my MX 7000 which sat in there brilliantly and to be honest with you the, the whole room was built around that MX 7000 so both cabinets either side were were built around that so once that was removed, it kind of left a, a big gaping hole. So I've had to lift the PVM up. Um, I did plan to put it where the MX4000 is, but because that's on the the little rotational stand, where I sit in my games room, it, it angles towards me. So I've just plunked it there for the time being. Um, I'll probably get a bean bag because it is sat a little bit lower down. But yeah, it's, it's in. Um, and what do I think to it? Well, straight away, lighting up here is shocking, it really is. It's not doing it justice, casting some nasty reflections, and it, it looks it looks shocking through, uh, through what I'm watching through the back of my phone. Um, so you're going to have to take my word for it. Uh, the picture is very nice, very nice. It's sharp, it's vibrant, it's bright, it's colourful. Um, how does it compare to the MX4000? Now that, don't get me wrong, that has got a cracking picture. And it probably is, well it is better, I've got to say, it is better than the MX4000. Uh, but only just, only just. Um, I've done a little bit of tweaking with the geometry. I think I was quite lucky when I turned it on. I just had to move the picture. I think it was sat to the left or the right. Uh, and colours wise, it was super bright when I got it. You couldn't leave it on you couldn't you couldn't use it when it were, when the lights were off up here because it was that bright it used to hurt your eyes so i've had a word with simon Locke, and he's got the the 14 inch version and uh we've come up with some settings just played about with it for an hour or so and I'm, I'm reasonably happy probably does want a bit more tweaking but there's no chance you're going to be able to see that on camera it just filming the crt is just it's just pretty much impossible unless you spend ages messing around with your, your phone or your camera or whatever but yeah I'm really happy with the overall picture it's a big I wouldn't say it's the heaviest thing it's just awkward it's just really awkward you've got two handles on either side it's just so awkward getting upstairs I'll try and do some I'll try and show some some different gameplay other than Sonic 2 yeah, I've just got Sonic 2 because that's the game I'm probably most used to uh, used to it's really good for setting geometry up. You can line the palm trees up and the floor and the sky, and it's, you know, it's really nice to set up. So I'll just flick to some different gameplay, and we can have a look at some of those glorious scan lines, shall we? So I'm really not sure how this is going to come out. I'll try and do a quick comparison. PVM on the right and the BNO on the left. Just pan back and forth. All you're going to see really is probably brightness. It's impossible to um, try and focus on the screens. The camera just goes crazy. But overall I'm uh, very happy with it. Been after a PVM for a long time. They always seem to come up down south. This came up 
fairly local to me, about an hour away. I got it at a great price. And I would recommend, if you can get one at a good price, then go for it, and if you've got the room. And if not, I'd probably recommend sticking with the uh, the B&O MX4000. It's still a great set in my eyes. And in the future, I may do a better comparison or a, a long-term uh, opinion on the PVM after I've, I've owned it for a bit because I've only had it a few weeks, so we'll get into grips with it. So, until next time guys, I'll see you later on Cocker.